Peak of the week, it is Wednesday and into the weekend, looking a lot better than it did with the forecast about 24 to 48 hours ago. Got some nicer conditions for the weekend and looking ahead toward the first week of February, it's going to be feeling a lot more like March or April out there as temperatures go way above normal in the next couple of days. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik on News 12's video weather blog, Weather Overtime keeping you updated as to what's going on with weather in and around the Tennessee River Valley. The winter weather advisories that we've had across the area, those have been discontinued and we look for again the potential of maybe some slick conditions tomorrow morning depending on what the temperatures do and the possibility of more rain and or freezing rain coming down. We'll take a look at that coming up here in just a little bit. Next couple of days, again numbers going from the upper 40s to the lower 50s into the weekend, but still a chilly couple of days coming up. Numbers again back into the mid to upper 40s or so for the next several days. But as we get into around Friday, cold Canadian air starts to make its way on through, and that's where we start to see the potential of some nicer conditions out there, if not a little bit on the chilly side, but otherwise not doing too badly out there for the next couple of days. And the weekend again looking good. We'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit. We managed about three quarters well, about a, almost a half an inch of rainfall yesterday for Tuesday, and that means we finished up the month on a surplus. It was only about a half an inch or so, but we'll take it considering what kind of drought situation we were in not too long ago. Temperatures were decently above normal in the last 24 hours, nowhere close to our record low of minus 10 last setback in 1900s. We don't have a weather window picture of the day this time around, but yours could be next. If you'd like to send in your weather pictures from around the area, please do so. Pictures at WDEF.com or find out more at Facebook.com slash WDEF News 12. We'd love to have your pictures out there. Our cold front is settled out away from us, which is allowing the colder air to go all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico and moisture coming its way all the way up off the Pacific is riding over the top of all that cold air stretching down to the Gulf and that's helping to create the chances of showers and uh, thunderstorms down to the Gulf and then also frozen precipitation showing up into and around the Oklahoma area and that's not good traveling conditions out there anything south and west of Memphis all the way down to the Rio Grande we're looking at some slick traveling conditions and that's why the National Weather Service keeps the ice storm warning in effect for most of areas from West Tennessee all the way to West and Southwest Texas. So I-40 all the way down to around I-10 into portions of Texas and the I-40 corridor West. That's where we're seeing some slick conditions out there. The ice storm warning should be discontinued within in about the next day or so. But most of what we're looking at for right now is going to be again no problem for us as we see what's left of those winter weather advisories canceled for the News 12 viewing area. Running the numbers into this afternoon. A few speckles of rain showers possible, but temperatures too warm for anything but just plain rainfall. More chances of rain move into the area as we go into overnight. Again, temperatures remain very much on the mild side, and maybe the potential of some mixture of sleet, snow, and freezing rain back into the Cumberland Plateau and around the Tennessee-Kentucky state line. Nashville could be making its way to the freezing mark, and that's why we could see some slick spots there. More chances of rain going into Thursday afternoon and evening. Some soggy travel conditions for rush hour home on Thursday. Temperatures remain above freezing and then that dry punch of cold Canadian air makes its way on through and that'll take care of the clouds, the rain, the any chance of winter weather coming through, but it'll also do a number on our temperatures, dropping them very much on the chilly side for early Friday morning. Bus stop temperatures will be frigid and it's also going to be a little windy out there, so we could be seeing wind chills in the 20s, maybe even the teens early Friday morning. Chances of rainfall decent for the next day or two and then we start to see a drier pattern shaping up over the next several days. But until then, the best chance of rainfall will be mainly to our south across portions of Alabama, Mississippi, northwest Georgia, back into Louisiana and southeastern Arkansas. We're not looking at anything really huge at this point, but for our particular location, uh, we may see again the heaviest activity south of Chattanooga of an inch and a quarter to near two inches in some locations, which is why the National Weather Service is showing the potential of a flash flooding risk 
marginal, but still something that needs to be paid attention to. And then in the long range forecast, 10 days plus, not too shabby. Over the next several days, we'll be looking for much warmer conditions, very much on the mild side going into New England and the mid-Atlantic states. We'll continue to see temperatures that are very much not February-like through the weekend and into next week. For Groundhog Day, furry fake forecaster day, more chances of showers coming on through. That should do it for the rainfall. More sunshine, but a little bit on the windy side for Friday. And also chilly. High temperatures will struggle into the mid to upper 40s. Through the weekend, temperatures rebound quite nicely going into the mid 50s and then lower 60s possible for Monday into Tuesday. That's also where we start to see our next chance of any showers coming on through. Tuesday into Wednesday, not great chances at this time and no sign of any severe weather possible. But again, that's one of those things that we will have to watch out for in the next several days. So definitely want to keep it tuned to News 12 for more information about what we may see out there. And again, the potential for any changes taking place. Outside of being a little bit breezy, I don't think we're going to be seeing a wind advisory on Friday. Plenty of sunshine, but uh, at least we'll get rid of the rainfall for a while. True American Holiday, National Weather Persons Day on Sunday. Temperatures quite mild, but looking at mostly cloudy skies there. If you're interested in astronomy, the local Barnard Astronomical Society of Chattanooga will be working together with the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park Rangers to present a discussion about astronomy and the use of the stars during the Civil War. The program is called Stars Above the Battlefield. They're also assuming decently clear skies there will be an observing session through the telescopes of the Barnard Astronomical Society. If you'd like to know more, go to barnardastronomy.org or you can go to our social media pages. This will be this Saturday at 6 p.m. at the Chickamauga and Chattanooga National Military Park in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia. We also would like to take the time frame when nothing is going on to help get you ready for severe weather. So if you'd like to know more about what's going on, about how to program your weather radio, you no longer have to get avalanche warnings for Colorado and anything the way of heat advisories for Miami, Florida. You can program the exact counties you want and the exact warnings you want. More information, go to WDEF.com slash weather. And if you'd like to have one of our weather personnel appear in your classroom, we'd love to know about it. We just don't show up. We have to have the invitation. So if you'd like to get that in the process of working, go to WDEF.com slash weather and click on weather in the classroom for more. All this and a lot more on my social media pages. You can find me out there, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Reddit, Tumblr, LI Chess, Chess, and also again at Counter Social and Mastodon these days, so you'll find me out there someplace. Again, so far so good on the temperatures. We're not doing too bad for this time of the year. A little cooler for the next couple of days, but then some very mild days ahead as we go into the first full week of February. No major problems seen there. I'm in for the vacationing Chip Chapman in the morning show territory for the rest of the week. Chief Meteorologist Emeritus Patrick Corr will be back in tonight, so more information on that. And if you'd like to do, know more about the forecast, please drop by our website at WDEF.com slash weather. Questions, concerns, ideas, complaints, if you must, go to aonic at WDEF.com for your email address. And again, find me on social media. I'm available out there someplace. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. You have been watching the latest edition of Weather Overtime. Thanks for stopping by, and stay tuned for much more with news 12 on air and online.